Chris here from My Heart Wellness, and today's video is going to be what's in my shopping bag. So I just got back from Whole Foods, and I was going to quickly go through some of the basics that I pick up on um, a weekly basis. So today when I went, um, it was just kind of the necessities to fill up everything I've gone through. I did not really get a lot of baking ingredients or any specialty ingredients. That usually comes later on in the week closer to treat Friday or on the weekends when I have time to really break down the recipes I want to make. These are just my staples that I tend to go through like every two days. So first off is um, this is a bread Ryan eats the Rudy's Organic Spelt Bread. I totally don't eat this because I am grain free but it smells divine. There is no sugars or anything in it. It's with um, like cane juice and potato flour spelt and some other tasty things I suppose. Um, these are my, this is my like little weakness of choice. You know I talked about the snap pea crisps before. They are baked. They are just snap peas baked with deliciousness. They taste like cheeseless cheesies to me so I might have a couple of those at nighttime if I need something to keep away from the high glycemic foods like the potato chips that I used to dip into to keep my skin going strong and clear. Now also on my snacking list is nuts. So I tend to buy the bulk dry roasted almonds with nothing added or the unsalted mixed nuts. I totally am that creep that does not use the spoon in a bulk bin so I only buy the nuts that come from like the pull down um, bulk bins. That's just the way I am because I get like totally grossed out so that's what I snack on. Um, I also picked up some organic cherry tomatoes. These are my favorite in salads with avocado and some just oil and vinegar dressing. I'm in love with cherry tomatoes and I only eat them organic because that's the way you're supposed to eat tomatoes is organic. So they were on sale for $2.50. Also other vegetables, I eat a ton of celery at nighttime to keep my cravings away from chips. Um, peppers for my omelets. Carrots, we go through a lot of carrots in our salads. Um, I also eat these raw. Sometimes I put them in my smoothie for breakfast to make the carrot cake smoothie. I use the Vi Shape Shake Mix along with one little carrot, some cinnamon, and sometimes I put some greens in there and it just really tastes like carrot cake and delicious. So I do that. Sometimes I have that for my after workout snack as well. Um, but for breakfast is really nice. And then of course, um, Ryan eats a lot of bananas, so we got two bunches of these. They're really good for his before or after workouts. Um, I also got cocoa. I got the Fry's brand this time. Normally I get organic, but I was really too cheap and they were sold out. Black beans for my black bean brownies and my black bean muffins and cookies, which I cannot live without these on my grain-free diet. So I make a lot of goodies with these, with just eggs and almond butter and stuff that fluff it up really nice. I have a lot of recipes that I'll link below on how to bake with black beans that are low calorie but high protein. So they're fabulous. Um, okay, we have been trying this. Ryan likes this young Thai coconut water. This little tiny thing is $5 because it's raw. It's frozen. Um, he likes it. It kind of tastes like super dirty gym socks to me. I like the um, Zinco or the Blue Monkey coconut water better, but I don't know. It's his thing. He likes it. Okay, and last but not least on this trip, I got this Simply Bar. I got it because it's um, super tasty, high in protein. It is vegan, but it is low glycemic, so I thought it would be okay for a little treat for people that are watching um, their grain intake or their glycemic index um, for their skin. So this only has three grams of sugar for this whole bar, and the bar is 150 calories and has 16 grams of protein. It's upside down. <laughs> so I'll let you know how this one is. It looks really, really delicious, so I'm super excited to try it. And um, yeah, Simply Bar, if you're watching, I'm excited. So um, that was it for this grocery round and um, I usually also pick up like, oh I did buy salmon, it's in the fridge, I didn't want to show that, so salmon filet, um, eggs, and yeah, every, all my other staples I got from Costco yesterday, like unsweetened almond milk, Greek yogurt, and frozen blueberries. I love Costco for things like that. I also picked up a new skincare line today, so I will let you know how that goes because I'm still working on a bit of scarring and a couple of breakouts. So um, the diet's going well. I have slipped up a few times, but that's okay. It's 
all in my mind, I think. I just need to work on that and align myself better. But, um, yeah, so that was it. Of course, that's not, like I said, it's not all my groceries. I still didn't pick up half my greens, like spinach, kale, and broccoli. That usually comes at the veggie market that I get on the weekend, because Whole Foods can get pretty pricey. So, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you.